my name is Scott for SB Gaming. We are back here in her story. And where we left off last, we were looking through some of the clips where we did a search for husband. And now, right now, I'm recording this episode after the previous episode. And this the previous episode has not gone out, so you won't have been able to comment on the previous episode yet, so I won't know what feedback you have for me, but I'll try not to get too far ahead. Anyway. <laughs> so, we see here, uh, this term here, she used the terms Oxford and Secret. I'm assuming we put in these tags so that we can, uh, you know, categorize things. Although, is there anywhere that we can actually pick up a list of all the terms we've actually added as tags or is it just in the clips themselves with that said we can have more or less an unlimited number of clips I'm assuming in the session I'm hoping that these do not actually go away once the uh, we actually close our session that would be rather unfortunate because it might have mean we'd have to actually write stuff down <laughs> Yeah, about that. Um, so I am going to do a search for, what did she say in this one? Accident. Simon isn't the type to run off or do anything crazy. Someone must have done something to him or there must have been some kind of accident. So what do we do next? All right, so yes, on June 18th, her husband was missing, hasn't been found, hasn't been confirmed dead, and he's not the type of person who would run off and do something crazy. So yeah, about that. And Glasgow and cross country. You know what, I'm gonna do a search for Glasgow. And we have five clips. This one is from, we see here, this one's from 856 and that one's from 907. This one comes just after this one, so let's take a look to see what this 23 second clip is all about. So I got in the car and I drove. I just kept driving north, just kept going, just wanted to get as far away as I could. When I finally stopped, I was all the way up in Glasgow. I was so tired. I just had to sleep. Okay. She drive drove all night. I got in the car and I drove. I just kept driving north. Just kept going, just wanted to get as far away as I could. When I finally stopped, I was all the way up in Glasgow. I was so tired. I just had to sleep. All right. So that's where she talks about driving up to Glasgow. I don't believe I need to save it or anything. Let's uh, move on to this 23 second clip. This one happened about yeah, nine. 904. Yes. Um, I got to Glasgow. I was exhausted, so I pulled over and slept in the car. I woke up because a rubbish truck went past. I got some petrol, bought a coffee and a pastry, tried calling someone from the payphone, and then headed back. Payphone. Let's add that to the session. Let's take a look at it again. Yes. Um, I got to Glasgow. I was exhausted, so I went, slept in the car. I woke up because I went past. Reverse trunk. Pastry. Tried calling someone from the payphone and then headed back. Okay. And this one is from about a minute later, roughly, or not even that. 
Yeah, that's Simon's watch. It was a gift from Eric. He got it this year. Who was there? It was a wedding anniversary gift. Steel. It would have been Diane who chose it. She has really nice taste. That time. You must eliminate me. I was in Glasgow then. All right, the name Eric. I'm gonna add this to the session. We're gonna play it back. Yeah, that's Simon's watch. It was a gift from Eric. Simon's watch? He got it this year. It was a wedding anniversary gift. Steel. It would have been Diane who chose it. She has a really nice taste. That time. You must eliminate me. I was in Glasgow then. That time. The time on the watch, if he got attacked or killed and the watch had got broken while he was wearing it, the, the time on the watch would have probably stopped at the uh, the time when he was attacked which would indicate that if it's the time that she was in Glasgow then um, she wouldn't have been, obviously been the one who would have killed her husband so uh, watch anniversary gift let's uh, play it back one more time yeah, that's Simon's watch. It was a gift from Eric. He got it this year. It was a wedding anniversary gift. Steel. It would have been Diane who chose it. She has a really nice taste. That time. You must eliminate me. I was in Glasgow then. There's also Diane. All right, let's uh, take a look at this clip. No, I don't think so. Glasgow was deserted that early in the morning. No, I don't think so. Glasgow was deserted that early in the morning. What does she not think so? What was... The First of all, what was the detective's question? <laughs> this was at uh, 9.06.25, and this clip here, 9.05.54, what? That was a 27, wait a minute. Fifty-four. To add 27 seconds. 21 so he he asked a question no I don't think so Glasgow was deserted that early in the morning his uh, pr question was probably did anyone see you in Glasgow no no I don't, I don't think, think so, so. Glasgow, Glasgow was deserted that early in the morning interesting yeah What's interesting about this game is that you only get her half of the conversation. You do not actually get the interviewer's questions. Which makes it all the much harder to follow in. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm, guess, I'm guessing no witness. Witness, no alibi. Ali, however, alibi, however you smell it, <laughs> it's uh, not important. Anyway, let's go on to this clip. 30 seconds, 6 seconds. When I arrived in Glasgow, I was exhausted. The streets were empty. I was driving badly. And I hit a taxi. Not a big crash, just paintwork. The guy was so pissed off because I didn't have a driving license on me. 
Really? But when I told him I was pregnant, you know, he made sure I got to the hospital so they could check me out. It was fine. The hospital must have details when I was looked at. There's a scratch on the car. Hospital. Of course, we won't be able to cross-reference and check that, so we won't be able to get much details out of that. Let's, uh, so... Taxi driver. Diver. <laughs> driver. Cab. Hospital. Taxi driver. Cab. Add to session. When I arrived in Glasgow, I was exhausted. The streets were empty. I was driving badly. And I hit a taxi. Just paint work. The guy was so pissed off because I didn't have a driver. When I told him I was pregnant. Pregnant. He made sure. He scratched on the car. You know what? And did I add this one to the session? Yep. Okay. So we can come back to that one. What I'm going to do is search for pregnant. <laughs> and we got five, ten entries. Access limited to the first five. Okay. And yeah, this lets us know how many entries there are. So we can actually use this as a... Yeah. All right. Let's take a look at this 11 second clip. This is back on the 25th of June, which was two days prior to these. It was about a week prior to that one. And okay, so this is like the latest one, July 3rd here. We have June 18th. This, this is a week before this one. July 1st okay just getting the chronolo chronology down zero minutes 11 seconds let's uh, listen to this one I got pregnant both our parents had a big powwow we weren't even in the room and they decided we should get married oh <laughs> so her parents decided that she was going to get married or they were going to get married. Both our parents had a big powwow. We weren't even in the room. And they decided we should get married. Yep. All right, so. She and her husband had got pregnant. They weren't married. Their parents got together, decided the best thing for them and the kid was obviously to get married and in a lot of cases that makes a whole lot of sense all right so let's take a look at this clip it is from june 27th which is uh, 8 57 which is, um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This is before each of these clips. Okay. Well, let's take a look at it. Yes, I'm fine. No, I'm sick again. This happened some days. I'm pregnant. This morning sickness. Um. It's the evening. <laughs> anyway. Oh, there's music. All right. So this is just when she tells the detective that she is pregnant. She's sick. She's not feeling well. All right. Let's uh, move on to this one. Well, yes. Make up your mind. You found out on my birthday. I told him I was pregnant. Oh, okay. Uh, 
All right, I'm gonna move on to this clip. 39 seconds, so we may be coming back to this one a few times. This one is at 9 p.m. The story starts when she's born. Mother Gothel, a witch, takes Rapunzel from her parents and keeps her locked up in this tower. Rapunzel gets pregnant by the prince, and Mother Gothel is furious, so she cuts off her hair and throws it. Actually, her hair's already short here, so that's already happened. So she throws her into the wilderness, and Rapunzel is reunited with the prince, who's blind, but she kills him with her tears, and so it's a happy ending. Is that too much? Well, I got an achievement. Hey, <laughs> uh, so she's talking about uh, Rapunzel, and it's Rapunzel. The story starts when she's born. Okay. Mother Gothel, a witch, takes Rapunzel from her parents and keeps her locked up in this tower. Rapunzel gets pregnant by the prince. Mm -hmm. and Mother Gothel is furious, so she cuts off her hair and throws it. Actually, her hair's already short here, so that's already happened. She throws her into the wilderness and... Not sure if there's gonna be anything relevant. She, they, she does do a lot of talking in this. Oh, um, oh bother. All right, so lawyer, murder, Simon, Simon suspect. Oh, oh really? It, it when you do each time you do a query. It duplicates, so we are going to look at. Um, she only says weapon once. Says lawyer four times. Let's take a look at some of her clips. Hospital. How many times does she say a hospital? Three times. Let's take a look at the first one. This was on June 27th. And 9.06, this other one we watched was 22 seconds before it. It's a two second clip. Ask the hospital. Ask the hospital. Then she had said this. When I arrived in Glasgow, I was exhausted. The streets were empty. I was driving badly. So she said, ask the hospital, then within the 22 second gap, or 20 second gap, 20 second gap actually, she, the detective or interviewer asked another question, so she said something else, then the interview viewer asked another question to get this clip. All right, so July 2nd, do we have any of... Nope, so this is a different day. At 2.19 in the afternoon, it's an eight second clip. What does she say about the hospital? Obviously there's not a whole lot here. I don't see how it's hard. We've established I was in Glasgow when he was killed. We spoke with the hospital. <laughs> uh, so, yep, we have no ability to know whether or not uh, the detective actually checked the hospital. All right, so let's take a look at it again. Is there anything wrong? We've established I was in Glasgow when he was killed. Hmm. Okay, so we've established how many times does she say killed? Two times. This is a 24 second clip. What did your wife do? She didn't kill you. You think I killed Simon because he was having an affair? Well, I didn't kill him. I wasn't even there. I was in Glasgow worrying about whether my baby was still growing inside me. I mean, why would I kill Simon? I loved him. 
<laughs> she loved him, but her, their parents forced them to get married. I see. Or maybe I don't see. She acts a little bit hostile. Let's listen to it one more time. What did your wife do? She didn't kill you. You think I killed Simon because he was having an affair? Well, I didn't kill him. I wasn't even there. An affair. Let's do a search for affair. Let's see what else is there. There's three entries here. This is four second clip might not really be useful. An affair. Simon wasn't having an affair. Affair, Simon wasn't having an affair. Okay. What I'd like to do is add to this to the session. And let's come to this clip. So back on June 30th, she claimed that Simon wasn't having an affair, and then the next day, the next day, I'm just going to go back to this one. She didn't kill you. You think I killed Simon because he was having an affair? Well, I didn't kill him. I wasn't even there. I was in Glasgow worrying about whether my baby was still growing inside me. I mean, why? An affair. Simon wasn't having an affair. So she states that uh, the detective brings up the question of Simon having an affair. She acts as though he definitely wasn't having an affair. And then she gets annoyed. You think I killed Simon because he was having an affair? And then the detective suspects her of killing her husband because he was having an affair. Okay. Is that one in... Yes, it is. This is a 45-second oh, clip. You know what? I might have to add this one to the session. You're reaching here. And I don't know why. No. I've never cheated on anyone. I've never taken anything from anyone. Simon's dead. Was that a smile? I have my baby to care for. Why are you trying to make me sad? <laughs> Why are you so obsessed with sex and affairs? You cheated on your wife. Is this your thing? She's trying to misdirect the conversation there. That's uh, quite a lot there. Hope they'll listen to it one You're more time. You're reaching here. And I don't know why. No. I've never cheated on anyone. I've never taken anything from anyone. Simon is dead. Simon is dead. But I have my baby to care for. Why are you trying to make me sad? Why are you so obsessed with You cheated on your wife. Hmm. Well, about that. I really couldn't pull any keywords I ne would necessarily want to search for. Nothing really stuck out as something. I might just add this to this. Oh, I already did. <laughs> well, let's go back through here. Suspect Simon. We did not do a search for suspect. We just did suspect and Simon together, which obviously brought up that one this one clip 
I think. Yep. Lawyer, no murder weapon. Ernst Brothers, the link brought up one clip. Invest the detective is investigating a missing person. Amstrad. All right, so at this point, this would be a good point to take a break and continue off in the next episode. The story is building, although we do not yet know exactly what the story is. I'm sure anyone of you who have, may have seen this, another YouTuber play this, probably has some better ideas or better information on what needs to be done or what search terms to look for. I would be curious though if there is a where is the wind condition like do you just search through this and build up a story based on is there a way to actually I don't think so <laughs> oh look at that so this must be a map of all the clips that we have come across so is that the end goal? Is this where we have to fill this up? We have to find all the clips? Anyway, <laughs> I will end this video here before it gets uh, much longer. Thank you for watching this episode of Her Story. My name is Scott for SB Gaming, and as always, have a good day.